Hey everybody, uh, it's Jeff again. I had a contest entry video for Eric Weinbender's uh, Music and Movies contest. Uh, if you're not familiar with Eric's channel, check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, great channel, funny guy, really quick-witted, natural in front of the camera. Shows a lot of cool music, um, has his buddies on having drinks, bullshitting, just a really loose, fun channel. So this is a music and movies contest, no real hard and fast rules or anything to it. So I've, what I figured I'd do is just show some movies uh, that I own and uh, that I also own the, the, the soundtracks to. So um, drinking a little zombie dust for this one. Uh, Fantastic IPA from the guys over at Three Floyds in uh, Munster, Indiana. Really, really good stuff. All right, let's get to it. Um, first up, uh, Wonderland. Really underrated, fantastic crime movie from uh, 2003. Uh, basically, this is the, the Wonderland murders that uh, happened back in 1981 in, in L.A., and um, John Holmes and his involvement in it uh, played with uh, um, expert scumbaggery by, by Val Kilmer. Great supporting cast, fantastic soundtrack. I have the soundtrack on uh, CD. Um, just a great soundtrack. Um, uh, you know, T-Rex, Stooges, Roxy Music, Terry Reed, Patti Smith, you know, Gordon Lightfoot, the list goes on and on. Um, I'm a big Terry Reed fan, and this movie kind of, you know, I came into awareness of Terry Reed through this movie. There's a couple of his songs in the movie. There's only one on the soundtrack, but um, yeah, if you're not familiar with the movie or the soundtrack, check them out. Fantastic stuff. Um, next up, got Jackie Brown, um, Tarantino from 97. Uh, fantastic movie based on Elmore Leonard's uh, novel Rum Punch, which is also a really good read. Um, soundtrack's great. It's got uh, Across 110th Street by Bobby Womack, uh, Strawberry Letter 23 by Brothers Johnson, Tennessee Stud by, by uh, Johnny Cash. I uh, got some Bill Withers, some uh, Grassroots, really good soundtrack from 97. Next up, Pulp Fiction, another Tarantino. Saw this movie probably three times when it came out in the theater in, in 94. I uh, was just blown away with the nonlinear narrative and the, you know, just killer dialogue. Just a fantastic, classic gangster movie. Um, another really good soundtrack. Um, great opener with Miserloo by Dick Dale. Uh, Let's Stay Together. Uh, by Al Green. Um, great cover of uh, Girl, You'll, You'll Be a Woman Soon by Urge Overkill, the uh, Neil Diamond song. Uh, yeah, just fantastic movie. Great soundtrack. Um, next up, Blu-ray of Clockwork Orange. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, this is a Kubrick masterpiece. Um, just psychotically violent uh, and, and funny and just just an, an impeccable movie uh, just a really weird take on classical music on a lot of the, on a lot of the tracks on this the opening uh, track uh, is like an electric uh, rendition of, of a like I think like a 17th century uh, composition so um, there's a lot of straight up classical compositions on here from Beethoven and, and Rossini but um some weird electric renditions too, but it's just a really eerie, uh, cool soundtrack to it. Just a, just a fantastic movie. Um, next up, Last Waltz. Uh, maybe the finest concert film ever made. Um, this was uh, the band's fare farewell concert uh, from uh, 1970. This was filmed, I think, on Thanksgiving Day in 1976. And uh, just, I mean, all these, you know, 
artists came out to support them and 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 uh you know this would have been just like such a killer concert uh to be at uh i think mazzy from norman maslov i think he was at this concert i think it was at winterland in uh in san francisco and um you know you said uh, you know clapton dylan neil young Joni mitchell muddy waters neil diamond um dr john uh just the list goes on and on Fantastic movie. Uh, Scorsese uh, interviews the band in between the the, the performances, and um, just a really good flow to the movie. Um, and I have the soundtrack as well on CD. Um, you know, this showcases pretty much all the performances. Um, it's a good soundtrack. It just doesn't capture. Uh, you know, I guess the you know. The, the feel of, of, of the movie. Um, the, the movie is, is, I mean, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a good soundtrack, but it's just a great movie. Uh, fantastic stuff. All right, next up, Easy Rider. Um, probably, probably falls in maybe my top five movies of all time. Top five favorites. Um, Counterculture classic from 1969. Uh, Dennis Hopper and, and, and Nicholson's performances are, are just, you know, gold in this movie. Um, just a great movie. One of, one of the most intense acid trip scenes uh, in any movie. Uh, really, really killer movie. I have, uh, I have it on CD, the soundtrack, and on vinyl. I just picked up the vinyl uh, at a record show not too long ago. But, you know, great mix of hard rock and psych on this. You, know, you got Steppenwolf and, and uh, Electric Prunes, Hendrix, um, The Birds. Great soundtrack, great movie. And last one for this one. I don't own this movie, but um, I do have it on CD um, and vinyl. 200 Motels, Frank Zappa. Just a twisted, uh, raunchy movie about life on the road. Um, this has got a lot of orchestration. Uh, on it. Um, this is not a, an album that you're, you're going to, you know, put on and, and, and play all the way through a lot. But there's some fantastic uh, rock songs on this. Uh, Magic Fingers and Mystery Roach. This is the Flo and Eddie version of the Mothers in the early 70s. This is from 71. Um, but um, yeah, really cool soundtrack. Uh, like I said, not, not, nothing you're going to listen to all the way through a lot, but the rock songs on here are, are worth the price of this uh, this album. So, really good stuff. And that's it for me. Eric, great channel. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, and that's my, that's my entry. Everybody take care, and we'll see you.